Uh, Seven, uh, six, we fight it off? Five, uh, okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to huh? Subnautica! That's right! We're back, ladies and gentle peeps. We just want the light. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Subnautica. Very excited to be back playing this game, and thank you so much for all your support of the first Subnautica video. Make sure, if you like this one, smash the thumbs up button. And if you watch it and you have a great time, subscribe for more stuff and things. And what are we doing? Hmm. Well, looks like... I think we need to continue our adventures. Uh, we landed on the planet, crash landed in our escape pod deal. The Aurora is afire. And we do have a smoke problem here inside of the ship. I think we need to talk about getting a repair tool online. So let's pop into our hot tools here and the repair tool. We're gonna need titanium, which we have, silicon rubber, which we have, and cave sulfur. Now, this is going to be a bit of an adventure. Cave sulfur. slightly dangerous. Now what we're gonna have to find is one of these little deals. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Hold on here. There's a lot of scan icons coming up here. I don't think I've seen one here. There's these little pods and they have these little guys in them and these little guys explode. It's not the best. It's not the best thing ever. You know what? Just to try to make sure we're not getting as many of these little nag icons on the screen. Let's start scanning some stuff here. Such an amazing place. Cut the creep vine with a knife. We can do that. He's done it. Oh my God. Creep vine sample has been acquired. All right, we'll grab a couple of those guys. Let's go ahead and pop back down. We've got to find some caves and that's where we're going to find obviously the cave sulfur. Being careful not to go too close to the Aurora. And let's pop down over this way, maybe? Mayhaps? Mayhaps some stuff and things? Oh, I just heard it. There it is. Try to scan this peeper. Okay, we got the peeper. There it is right there. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! Oh my god, explosive! And then he's done it. Cave sulfur's right inside of there. So these guys, you gotta watch out for them. Let's go ahead and scan the sulfur plant. All right, and we should be GTG to go ahead and make our repair tool now to get stuff and things going. Pop up inside of here. Ah, okay, so hot tool action, repair tool. Oh wait, silicon rubber, which we have tons and tons of. Go ahead and grab that guy out of there like that. Go like so, and make this bad ombre. So I'm gonna put this over in our five slot here. Let's move our scanner over like that and then a repair tool there. Let's go ahead and repair this guy. That'll help with the coughing and the smoke in this area. All right. Radio back online. He's done it. Oh, also Radio back on online. Look at the magic of the repair tool. It's it's unbelievable and amazing. Life code secondary systems online. Yeah. Diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. 4,546 gigabytes of environmental data have been acquired. All right. Secondary systems are online. Outgoing radio com communications are offline. Incoming radio communications are online. Floating devices have been deployed. Hull integrity is okay. Oh, uncharted ocean planet. I see. All right. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. This is an aura. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Hold on. Nine, 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 nine hours divided by 24. That's 4,166 days divided by 365. 11 years? 11 years? You're, you gotta be kidding me, man. 11 years? We can't wait 11 years. Can we? Can we wait 11 years? I don't think we can. Uh, let's go back inside of our storage container right here and talk about our water deal. Let's 
Go ahead and grab that. And we're probably going to need to get a few more bladder fish just to make sure we have the stuff and things that we need. There's one. There's two. Where'd the other guy go? Dude, there was another guy. There he is. All right. So we'll pop up here with our hot water from our bladder deals. No. There we go. Like so and like so. Grab some water for us. Okay, and then... Alright, we're geez. Uh, okay, so let's take a look inside of here and see what the next order of business is going to be. Uh, we could work on this O2 tank. It looks like we have everything we need except for one titanium. Actually, I think I might have some right up in here. It's going to go down into our floating lockers, but I think I got it right over here. One titanium. Dude, we're freaking making moves, man. Can I pull this standard O2 tank out? And now can I use it? I'm surprised it didn't automatically do that. High capacity O2 tank. So we were at 75 oxygen. But now... Ooh, baby. 135. Wow, that's awesome. Over two minutes worth of O2. We can stay under, underwater, pardon me, for a very long time. Unbelievable and amazing. All right, so we're geez on that guy. Hmm. The rebreather conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs the recycled CO2. We could get into that guy. I don't know if we need it straight away, though. And then other tools? Pathfinder tool? Dude, this is new. I have not seen this before. The air bladder, uh, flares, habitat builder, which we will need if we want to get into doing any building, which, of course, we will be doing. Uh, mobile vehicle bay, the waterproof locker, and the grav trap. I think that that's pretty much it. We're kind of like doing pretty good around here. So fiber mesh, I did notice we can make because we need creep vine to do that. So we might as well get the rebreather going here next. Let's talk about a wiring kit. That would be under advanced stuff and things. And that's going to require two silver. So we're back doing some more exploring. I think we're going to head back over this way and look at the edges around this creep vine area for some hot silver action. Oh, wait, you know what? There is a place. Wait, where are we? This way. I think this way. I have a little bit of secret of map knowledge. Actually, maybe it's changed? Hmm. There's a big piece of coral that you can go down inside of that has a bunch of stuff and things. Uh, let's grab our scanner and scan this giant coral tube. I think we can pop out of here and squirt off the other side. Yeah! Woo! Adventure! Excitement! <laughs> Where's the giant coral tube? I think it's around this area. Now, you may see, hear me say several times while making videos for this game about how unbelievable and amazing beautiful this game is. It is so beautiful and such a pleasant place to be. And I gotta give a huge thank you to the development team for making it that way. It's just so lush and green and colorful and red and blue and beautiful. Um, I just can't not take it all in and just be super excited by how amazing it is. Now, the giant coral tube, I'm not able to find. So I think maybe we'll just try to... That's an egg right there. Let's go ahead and scan this guy. We may just try to find a cave while we're over here. We're a little bit far away. We're almost down to 50%. Uh, battery life on our sea glide now. There's got to be a cave in betwixt here and there, I think. There we go. All right. How much space do we have? A good amount. So let's go ahead and grab some crystal whenever we see it. I'm not seeing any of the little outcropping deals. Oh, what? Dude, I found this is it. This is exactly what we we're trying to find. The giant deal. Okay. All right. Secret, secret. Stuff and things right here. Okay. There's the sulfur deal. Okay. Go team. Damn, son. Holy crap. All right. We'll grab that guy. Let's pop up here and get some O2. Oh, the O2 action. All right. And then back down in. We'll clear this entire area out right here. So, yeah, just this is such a beautiful and amazing game. Let's grab our cave sulfur that we got from this. Hopefully, there is some there. Feels good. 
These guys are a little higher end. Sometimes you can get some decent stuff from those. There's some silver right there. But you can see this cave is quite large, in fact. We could grab some more of the crystal, the quartz even. Like so. Let's just try to clear this area out right here. One step at a time, you know what I mean? Grab that guy. Some of that. Like so. And we do need to be a little bit careful. Um, I don't believe we have any respawning uh, of the materials. I can't remember now. Maybe you guys know. I'm sure some of you guys are experts. I can't remember if items respawn in the game. I think maybe slowly. But still, there is a finite amount of certain resources. And some resources are really hard to find. So, Hot silver action. We got two. Um, all right, so that's not quite enough. That's not quite as much as we need. Uh, let's go ahead and scan the metal salvage. All right, head up for some more air. All right, and then back down in. And if we come over here and we bang a right, I think that's how we got in, actually. Let's take a second to take a look around inside of there. It looks like we got all the things here. Yeah, we'll go through to the other side and see what we can see. All right, much darker. And I think there's some places in here that are kind of deep. Uh, copper. Some more titanium. Pop back over here. More crystal. Are we full? Dude, the inventory's full, baby. Uh, do we have enough that we can drink? Drink that filtered water right there. We'll grab this. Then we'll head back to base. I'll unload some stuff and things, and then we'll come back over. All right. So we have the two silver. I thought we needed three, but we're able to make the wiring kit now. So we're G's on that. And then we pop down inside of here and go to our equipment and make the rebreather. And that should automatically equip like so. Oh, oh, hot transmission action. What? Teach me your ways. Okay. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. What? Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Wait, you're telling me there will be a quantum detonation? I don't know. I mean, a quantum de detonation works. What? That sounds like a terrible disaster. I hope this doesn't happen to us. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop over here, open our storage. Uh, let's squirt a bunch of this back into there. You guys, we have a lot of stuff and things going on. I also did craft a battery, by the way, while you guys weren't watching. So we did get that going on. Um, we have PDA data uploaded. Let's go ahead and take a look under Beacon Manager. The life pod, we can change the colors of these things. And I think, oh, this is the signal. Let's make that red. So if we make that signal red, like so, then if we pop up here, there it is. 474 meters. It's a little ways away, but I think we can make it. Yeah, we're going pretty quick. We got 28, 27% battery life with this battery. And then we have another battery. Oh, it's, is it going to be night? It's going to be night. So I love the way that they use the, um, the HUD for these notifications. It really helps you to not get lost considering that there isn't a map. Dude, what is that? Dude, what was that? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god, it's Reef back, you guys! Baby Reef back and Daddy Reef back! It's Bob the Reef back! Oh! Look at how amazing they are! And there's a little baby one! Oh, the Reef backs are unbelievable and amazing! We found life on the planet! Uh, oh. Oh! Okay. The scan information stuff and things is real. Oh, check it out right here. Brain coral. We can stand right above this and it will give us oxygen. 
Wait, there we go. Suggests this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. All right, so we got that guy. Let's go over and look at the baby. It's the little baby one. They're so cute. Now, before you ask, no, there's no saddle. I wish there was. Hey, little baby reef back. How are you doing? Oh, I speak reef back. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> so there's the Rouge Cradle uh, Regress, Regress Shell. And then these guys do have, I, at least they used to, have stuff and things on them that you could harvest. There were little nodules, I think. Then they have changed. Oh, wait, there was another scan icon. Oh, 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 no! Tiger plant, tiger plant! Let's scan it. Okay, hot tiger plant action. Let's head to the surface. All right, where's the deal? All right, this early direction is where we're going. We're only 180 deals away. Do we have room in our inventory for stuff and things? I tried to make as much room as we could. Aren't they amazing, you guys? Oh, God. I would be not very upset at all if I was stranded on this planet. I feel like that would be such a cool deal. What is that, that super glowy purple deal is over there? All right, let's pop over here, though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bad hombres. Oh, ow! Jeez! Sand shark. Okay. okay. Sand shark. Coming back, coming back, Oh my god, dude. Take a value. You are losing your mind. Okay. Sea moth fragment. Good find. Great find, even. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful here. Let's take a look in the area and see. The bioreactor fragment. All right, feels good. Let's take a look real quick, see if there are any other fragments in the area before we go inside. Only 60 seconds of oxygen left. Ah! PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Anything else we can take or scan in here? Oh my god, you guys, I'm terrified. I don't want to go out. Ah! Dude, just, just get out of here! Go away! You stop it! Stop it! Thirty seconds. Yeah, that's right. You now, you know. Oh, what the crap is that? A biter? Oh, a biter. Okay. Dead biter. Shut up, you stupid dink. You're dead. Nine. Eight. Oh, it's not going to eight. Oh, what? Then it goes to six? That's how you run your... Jeez. Also, we're really low on HPs. Wow. I think they've increased the damage of these guys a little bit. Uh, because normally it was never any real jeopardy. When you were fighting stuff and things, but now there definitely seems to be some jeopardy from this. Okay, let's turn this off. I don't think we have anything else in the area here. Oh, a huge wreck. So there's a big wreck right over there. And then... Oh, dude, look at the reef back at night. So amazing. Do you see its little breathers breathering? Dude, I want to get sucked into your breathing cloaca. I can't get in there. I'm too fat. All right. So the most beautiful area of all time at night. Uh, the big purple deal over here. I feel like we have to explore that while we're here. I think these are ghost mushrooms. And this is going to lead down to a... Scans show a nearby cave entrance. Yep. Depth 90 meters. Leading oh. to an unknown environmental biome. They're not ghost mushrooms. They're just some sort of glowy, uh, look at me, there's a thing here. Okay, let's go to the surface. Oh, we gotta scan the floaters. All right, so these guys are floaters. I don't know if they have a use. I'm trying to think. But they make rocks float. That's a use. 
All right, let's head down in. 4% remaining on our battery, but we have a backup. We can reload it at any moment. And I think we might reach our maximum depth here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Oh, my God. It's the purple cave. Look how amazing it is. Uh, I think this is actually past the maximum depth for the Seamoth. I can't remember now. Look how beautiful it is, man. There are some bad ombres here, though. Wonder if we'll see one of them. Uh, crab snake, I think it was called. I can't remember now. Oh my god, there it is right there. Those guys are bad news, man. But what a beautiful place. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh, there we go. Uh and then reload the battery, nail the days to can't be stopped. We're good to go. Okay, so. Back over this way, 400 meters, back to our home base. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. Uh, T minus 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, uh, 6. We fight it off? Five, uh, four, okay. Three, two. You guys see that? Did you see that, man? Oh, radiation! For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. For my convenience, huh? All right. Rip the Aurora. It's over. I was trying to get rid of some of these nag deals because I can't handle it. Um, there needs to be a clear all button really bad. Also, we got a PDA data downloads right there. Aurora Survivors. This guy right here. Oh, yeah, let's listen How's to this. Log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. <laughs> there are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. <laughs> and there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My <laughs> cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. It's cool, man. It's going to be 11 years. Just calm down. So, I can't do all these nag deals with you. I'll do them on my own at some other time. Um, but, yeah. So, all right. Radiation suit we have now. And we're going to need that if you want to go closer to the Aurora. There's a radiation field around here like so. So, that's going to be something that we're going to have to deal with. Also, it looks like we have a new message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So, if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. All right. PDA data stuff and things have been uploaded. If we pop inside of here now, life pod 17. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this one off, and then we'll turn this one to red. So that's what we like to do. I like to, when I've done one, I turn it to red. When I've done it, I turn it off, and then when I get the new one, I turn it to red and see. So it's very organized. We're very, very organized here. Okay, so up inside of here now, we're going to need to make another battery for backup stuff and things. That way, we always have a backup battery, and then also we're going to need some bladders. We need a little bit of water, hot water action. Uh, we can get water. There's, uh, We can make bleach. We can make water that way, but I normally just do it with bladders. And eventually, we're going to be able to farm stuff and things as well. You just got to keep your eyes peeled. There's one right there. Grab that guy. Anybody? There's one. You didn't see it, did you? That's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got you, homie. Calm down, buddy. So that guy's... Oh, 700 meters away. Holy crap. That's pretty far. Um, I don't know if we should just try to get our mobile vehicle bay online first. Or head out there. It says it's in the shallows. 700 meters. We could probably make it. Uh, wrong. No wrong. Incorrect. There we go. All right. So, got a little bit of water now. Feels good, team. Uh, 
And then I think we can make one more guy. All right. And this is going to give us 20, so that'll be all right. Okay. Uh, I think we really need more storage at this point. We don't really have that much. What do we need to make the lockers again? Well, everything we need. Feels good, team. All right. Let's put another locker down here. Over in a this really type area. Let's just make sure that we're dropping off all of our stuff. We don't be carrying stuff around if we don't need to. Just the bare essentials. So this is a battery at zero charge. We don't have a way to recharge them yet. But in the future, that'll probably be a thing. Um, all right. I think we're good. Where did that signal deal go? There it is. 700 meters. All right. Let's go team. 100 meters. 80. 60. 40. There it is. Life pod three. Let's get our scanner out and see what we can scan. There's like a PDA over there. Is that a sea glide fragment? We'll get some uh, titanium for that guy. There's some metal. Anything else in and around the area here? Some hot salt action. Ooh, what do we got over here? Sea glide fragment. Some metal right there. All right, looks like that's it. Let's head inside. Uh, PDA right there. Life pod three crew log. New PDA data. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, life pod uh, three, the crew tried to escape. It looks like we have a data box here as well. Compass, oh, thank you. New blueprint acquired. Sweet, compass action. Um, okay. Looks like we got another guy over here. I'm hoping to find something besides a sea glide fragment. Mobile vehicle bay, bay fragment. I think this is it. No, we need one more of those. Let's make sure we have a look around in the area. Stuff and things. There's a lot of metal over here, as there are in the kelp forest. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, maybe right there. There it is. Nailed it, Ace the Campy. Stop! Mobile vehicle bay. Stuff and things are ready to rock and roll. Acquired. All right. So now we have the compass and we have the mobile vehicle bay. Those are the things we can work on next. Oh, dude. Land ho! We found land! Is this actually... Can we actually stand on it? No, you can't. It's not actually land. You can't... It's not land if you can't stand on it, right? Are we, are we on the land or are we still swimming? Oh, oh, we're on land. Land ho. We have found the land. I can't believe it. Also, you see that cloud deal right there? I feel like that's something in our future as well as this cloud. Wait, that cloud deal? Yeah, I think that cloud deal too. Don't tell the devs. Ladies and gentle peeps, we have found dry land. Oh, yeah. Bar bags are over there. All right, so... Uh, we have the compass now. We have the mobile vehicle bay that we can work on. Our survival strategy is getting better and better. But that's going to be it for today, peeps. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, you want to see Subnautica, smash the thumbs up button. Show your support. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.